Fallout 2022 just dropped. I've read the release notes and at first glance, I'm psyched. But when I put these features to the test with real world scenarios, will they hold up? Stick with me and find out. Hey, I'm Mike Brightman, and in this video, I'm gonna point out the new features in Layout 2022, demonstrate how they work, and then offer an opinion about whether or not they improve my drafting workflow. Keep in mind, I'm critiquing from my own perspective that of a residential designer who uses SketchUp Pro and Layout for every phase of the design process, including construction documents. I'm not gonna pull any punches on this review. When you hear the bell, the gloves come off. Let's go. Our first new tool in Layout 2022 is Zoom Selection, which zooms to fit a selected entity to your screen. Just right click on an entity and choose Zoom Selection from the context menu. Nothing too tricky here. If you have an entity selected, the default keyboard shortcut is Alt-Z. That's option on Mac. I don't love this new tool. It requires more clicks and a precise selection. And if you group things like I do, it doesn't really work unless you double click into a group and select a small object, then remember to use zoom selection. But by that time, I would have already rolled my scroll wheel in. Why don't we have a zoom window tool in layout? That would have been my priority definitely before zoom selection. This addition did make me rethink my keyboard shortcuts though. By default, Z activates the zoom tool, which I never use. So I'm going to repurpose the Z key to zoom actual size, which I use quite frequently to check what my drawings are going to look like when printed at full size. Let's add a shortcut and layout. Click on the edit dropdown, choose preferences. On the shortcuts tab, type in actual size, select the command, then click in the field below. Tap the Z key, then click the plus sign. If the shortcut is already assigned, just say yes. You might also add a shortcut for zoom to page. I use Shift Z. These commands definitely make navigating a document easier, more so than zoom selection. Thumbs down on that new feature. Five new viewport auto text tags have been added in this release. Brace yourselves. This is gonna be a rocky road. Scene name, scene description, and scale are three new labels that could possibly be used together to create a dynamic drawing title that automatically names itself and gets the scale right. Sounds promising so far. Let's see if they deliver. Scene information is pulled from SketchUp where all scenes are created and named. So you would need to first manually fill in the scene name or description within the scenes dialog. Now back to layout. Activate the label tool. Click on an entity rendered within the viewport to start. Click again to set your extension, then once more to place the text. Click the triangle to expand the auto text labels. At the top is the new viewport tab. Select the viewport name to dynamically populate this text field with the SketchUp scene name. In other words, if this scene name changes in SketchUp, it will now update on a model reload in layout. In my opinion, a scene name is not exactly synonymous with the drawing title. Let's switch the label. You can change an existing auto text label by selecting the text, then hit enter twice. It's easier that way. Then click the triangle to change the auto text label to scene description. Let's add another leader text field the same way. And this time, link it to the scale auto text label, which pulls the architectural scale assigned to the viewport in layout. But who uses leaders to point a drawing title at a drawing? Nobody. So to get rid of the leader lines, you need to select the leader text, then set its stroke color to transparent. They're still there, you just can't see them. So far, these tags deliver on the promised functionality, but to be a value, they need to be faster, simpler, and more reliable and look better than just adding and editing static layout text. You be the judge. Once this new auto text label is implemented, to change the drawing name in layout, you now need to go back into SketchUp, find the scene, modify the scene description, save the model, reload in layout, and what do you know, it updates with the revised drawing title. Compared to double clicking on layout text to edit, this is not simpler, easier, or faster. And my formatting options are now limited to each tag, so I can't pull off this style I use for my drawing title. I like the control and reliability that static layout text offers. These new labels are a step backwards. Thumbs down. Let's dig in a little further and check out the new sequence auto text, which adds sequential numbers or letters as you copy the auto text label throughout your presentation. Click on the file dropdown, choose document setup, then click on the auto text tab. Click the plus sign to start a new sequence. Type in the word you want to use as a placeholder to be swapped out for the sequential numbering or lettering. I'll type door for a door tag. This is case sensitive. Click the dropdown to choose a sequence style. These will be numerical. Now, Using the text tool, I'm going to add some text and type door within the brackets. 
When I tap escape to finish the input, you can see it is replaced with the first number in the sequence. I can use the select tool to make a copy and each one is sequentially numbered. If I delete a sequence label, I can right click on any other label in the sequence and choose renumber. That's slick. This feature could work well for door and window tags, which I don't typically use. Personally, I use the width height method to give rough openings like 3050. Stick with me to the end and I'll show you how I've been automating this style of door and window tags with dynamic components that I built. And of course I'm going to give them to you. Since I don't use traditional tags and schedules, I was more interested in attaching a sequence label to a drawing number. Let me show you the new scrapbooks to demonstrate how sequence auto text keeps coming up short. In layout 2022, you will find the same old scrapbooks with just a few minor additions. Basically, some of the pages have been duplicated and auto text labels have been implemented where possible. Click on a scrapbook to pick it up, then click to add it to your presentation. Unfortunately, these new auto text labels don't automatically grab the viewport. We need to do that manually. Here's how. Using the select tool, double click into the annotation group, select the leader text, then tap enter. That's easier than trying to double click on the leader line. I need to snap both of the leader text lines to a point rendered in the viewport to soak up the corresponding information. If I copy one of these auto text enabled drawing titles, it will appear to count the drawing. But beware, they continue to count on the next page. So you would need to add a new sequence for each page of your presentation to make these work right. I could show you how, but take my word for it. The juice is not worth the squeeze. Plus, Look at these leader lines. I have to sort them out for each copy I make. So should I build these new auto text labels into my own scrapbook library? No way. For anyone keeping track, let's chalk up a thumbs down for the new sequence auto text that doesn't really work in a useful way, and another for the same old scrapbooks updated with this clunky new feature. Let's hope the brand new section name and section symbol auto text labels offer some value. I'm going to make this as quick and painless as possible. In order for anything meaningful to show for these labels, you need to first select the section plane in SketchUp and fill in the section name or tag in the entity info dialog. So to pick up these labels, the leader text must be pointing at an active section cut. That's going to come up later. Once the leader text is placed, click on the triangle to open the auto text options. On the section plane tab, choose section plane symbol to automatically populate this text field in layout. But why would I need to call out a SketchUp section plane name or tag in layout? Here's the only scenario I could come up with. Maybe, just maybe, I could reference the section tag in a plan section cut callout and then also link the building section drawing title on a different page, why bother? It's not even possible. These labels only pick up the active section plane. So you can't automate a section cut call out in plan. And even if you could, you are still manually entering text in SketchUp. So what's the benefit? I'm sorry. The section auto text labels are dead on arrival. The coordinates auto text label is not new, but Previously, it only displayed all XYZ coordinates. Now, there's the ability to control which coordinates are shown. I can imagine this working well in two different elevation callouts. Let's give it a try. Using the label tool, click on a point or face within the viewport. Then click to set the extension and again to place the text. Click on the triangle to expand the label options and choose the coordinates label. I'm going to isolate the Z coordinate or elevation using the new parentheses parameters. So now this label will only report back the Z elevation value for the point that the leader is attached to. But what's up with this formatting? The display precision in SketchUp controls how the text is formatted in layout. I don't like the sound of that. So to round this number off, I need to hop into SketchUp, click on the window dropdown, choose model info. Then on the units tab, set the display precision to zero, save the model, then reload and re-render in layout. Wow, that is a complex connection. And I really don't want my display precision knocked down like that. And you see this little squiggle here? I don't know what it's actually called, but I can't get rid of it. Let's look at an elevation callout on a building section drawing. If you wanted to report back with your level one finished floor as 100 feet, you need to move the axes to the finished floor, then right click on any axis and choose move. Drop the sketching context 100 feet below finished floor by setting the blue axis to minus 100 feet. Now, update your scene, but only the axis location. Save the model, then reload and re-render in layout. Wow, what a complex series of operations just to get elevations that respect the level one finished floor. Wouldn't it be so much easier to just type in the elevation in layout? 
It's too easy. It's not even fun. Thumbs down. The page management auto text labels have some utility. Use the new page count label, which sums up the total of all pages, combined with the old page number label to open up some title block options. The page name label has always pulled the current page name, but with the new parentheses parameters, you can specify a page. This can be used to create a dynamic drawing index that you can depend on being up to date as you add and rename pages in your drawing set. This does solve a problem, but far from the biggest coordination problems I face when creating a full set of drawings. I'm definitely going to build this one into my scrapbook library. Thumbs up. The new find and replace text command allows you to quickly swap out one piece of text for another. Control F, command on Mac, is the default shortcut. Then just type a word or phrase into the search field. In the next field, type a word or phrase to replace the search term. You can look for text in the current selection, on the current page, or throughout the entire document. Check on additional parameters to refine the results as case sensitive, match whole word, or skip locked entities. Click next to toggle through all of the results. This will jump to the page and highlight the found search term. Click replace to go one by one or replace all to finish the swap in one click. This is a pretty familiar tool that is baked into many programs and a welcomed addition to layout. This tool has been thought out with real world construction document coordination in mind. Nice work. Thumbs up. All right, you still wanna know how I automate rough opening door and window tags? First, let me give you a tip. When you're working with both SketchUp and Layout, open your SketchUp files from Layout using the References tab in Document Setup. Just click Edit to open the linked model and create a live sync between the two programs. I've also noticed that this drastically reduces reload time. Give it a try. There's a link in the description to our Condoc dynamic door and window components. When stretched to fit a rough opening, they report back to layout a rough opening tag, like 3050. So this window is three feet wide by five feet tall. If I change the window size in SketchUp, save my model, then just make layout the active window, the model is automatically reloaded, re-rendered, and the tag is updated. I love this live. I think this is a clever use of auto text labels that solves a real problem. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So there's not much new in Layout 2022. Find and replace text is solid. Zoom selection is vanilla at best. And unfortunately, the majority of development efforts were directed at auto text, which in my opinion, is a complete failure. Independently, each auto text label does what it claims, but collectively they are misfiring on so many cylinders that when applied to real world scenarios, this new workflow is worse. The problem that needs solved is annotation, drawing, and sheet coordination, all within layout. SketchUp is for 3D design and modeling. Layout is for 2D drafting and documentation. These new auto text labels further muddy where annotation and sheet coordination is happening. I wanna see intelligent callouts in layout that update as my drawing set evolves with more pages and number drawing. Automated coordination is something I can get excited about, but this isn't it. Oh well, I still love layout. I gotta say it's the best drafting solution for my project. I suppose I'll just have to wait another year and cross my fingers, hoping that layout gets the attention it deserves. And when it does, that those efforts will be focused in a direction that actually improves my drafting workflow. Till then, I'll just keep doing what I've been doing. Pretty efficient with the layout feature set as is. Hey, did you hear about SketchUp 2022? Check out my review here. Or possibly you'd like to dig deeper into layout and pick up a few of our professional title blocks? Well, then this video is perfect for you. I can take it either one. I just need you to click. I'll see you in there. <clears throat>